Welcome back to the Wave of Wave. I'm your host, Tim Petropolis, and welcome to the playoffs. We have some guys this week that not only can make a difference in your first round playoff matchup, but can make a difference all the way to championship week. Now, last week, I advised you to take a speculative ad on our first guy in the waiver wire, and that's Peyton Barber. We already knew that he was supposed to be the goal line back, but this week, he ended up being the every single down back and he got usage like crazy. He broke out for a tune of 23 carries, 102 yards, four catches, 41 yards, and a big fantasy day for anyone who took the chance and started Peyton Barber. Number one, he showed that he has the talent to make things happen with a four yards per carry clip compared to Doug Martin, who was basically running backwards. Number two, he has an excellent matchup coming up next week. And number three, the Bucks are out of it. Peyton Barber is a second year player who was drafted low, but has shown potential as he's risen up. I love Peyton Barber this week and moving forward. He is the very rare diamond in the rough that could lead you all the way to a championship. Another super rare diamond in the rough every down running back that you could have for your team is Seattle's Mike Davis. The former 49er had 101 yards on 20 touches. On top of that, he played 45 of the 62 total snaps in the game. This could finally be the between the tackles rusher that Seattle has been desperately looking for since the beginning of the year. He has already proved that he's better than Rawls and Lacey. Combine that with the fact that he put those stats up against the number one rushing defense in the league and you have yourself a quiet possible stud going into your playoffs. My third guy this week is someone who's going to come in really handy, especially if you're one of the people that lost Gronk this week. Zach Ertz left the game and looked like he was concussed last week. Now it's still early in the week, so monitor this. But if Zach Ertz doesn't play, then Trey Burton is a great plug and play at tight end. In the one game that Zach Ertz missed this year, Trey Burton brought home a touchdown and 41 yards and put together a solid fantasy performance. After Ertz left the game this week, Burton got another four catches and another 40 plus yards. The Eagles offense has a very specific and important role for the tight end. If Zach Ertz can't play and he's been a monster, Trey Burton could, if not completely fill the shoes, at least put one foot in. My final guy you should pick up today is Marquise Goodwin of the San Francisco 49ers. He's been fantasy relevant the past few weeks, but I've been hesitant to recommend him because all of his numbers have come on big plays. Well, this week, Jimmy G comes into the fold and Marquise Goodwin became an actual receiver. He caught all eight of his targets for 99 yards. And on top of that, his longest reception was only 20 yards. Now Goodwin has shown not only is he a big play passing threat, which he still is, but he could also be a number one guy for Jimmy G, who's brand new to the offense. And lastly, today, I'm going to tell you a guy that's popular on the waiver wires right now, but you should stay away from. That guy is Matt Forte. Listen, I'm a Jets fan. I know exactly what's gonna happen with Matt Forte. There's gonna be some games where he's just gonna blow you away completely, but he's also gonna have weeks where he completely shits the bed. In playoff time, you cannot take the chance that this is the week that he shits the bed. Stay away from Matt Forte. You cannot take a chance on a guy like this in the fantasy playoffs. He's gonna be a popular pick on all the popular websites you're gonna be the one who stays away. For more on all these guys and everybody that's fantasy relevant, check out the Brodo Fantasy Podcast on iTunes, on SoundCloud. We're gonna be going over everything you need for your playoffs. We're gonna be going over who to put in for Gronk, who to stream at QB, who to play at running back. Every single fantasy relevant person will be available on the Brodo Fantasy Podcast and that's being released on Wednesday night. And with that, good luck in the first round. I give you the wave. Ride to victory, baby.